Guru3D.com and AMD Bugbear very proudly presents another world exclusive four way SLI project. Video we're going to be doing today, or should I say the game, is going to be Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. First things first, the video control panel. 4-way SLI, enable, 4 970s, 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't mind about this, even though this, my main connection is connected to here for some reason, it's showing here, but 4-way SLI is, is working perfectly, so I'll disregard that. GPU-Z, 4-way enabled, 970. Okay. Memory 32 gig system RAM, CPU ten, uh, i9 10900X, CPU Skylake X, 10 cores, 20 threads. Windows version 1703, Redstone 2, RTM, OS built 15063, update 2108. Core temp frequency, CPU frequency 4.7. Custom 8 bits, we're going to do with reshape first. Frame rate limiter, for now we're going to set to 59 because uh, certain, certain areas I'm going to sh show you all, all of you guys uh, without the in-game settings the frame leak cap on so this will help with frame pacing issues and without reshade for now we're going to do one gpu test and just to let you know, under SLI compatibility bits, let's see, 6 hex down, we can change this 3 to 8 to help with certain areas from hanging. So if you have, if you all have people similar setup as mine, uh, if you're having hanging issues in certain areas, you might want to switch to 8, but for universal, just, just leave it at 3, and or Certain settings has to be disabled within the in-game settings, but we'll show you that in a bit. One GPU. Okay. And we're going to test three point Three point four K just for start. And this is for a custom this is uh, for without reshade. It's a custom DSR tool by Orb MU two K, the same person who developed NVIDIA Inspector. Well we'll do that in a little bit. For now we're gonna do without reshade with reshade. ALT enter to do full screen mode. For those who haven't seen the short intro, here it is. Enjoy the video, lights off. For 10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint of murder among the stars. We are Inquisitors. 
First, we're going to go to reshape. Settings we're going to be using is Vibrance, HDR Clarity. There's two of them. HQ4X, HBAO. Two samples. RT Global Emanation Path Tracing by Marty McFly. Here's the settings. And under pre processor definition, there's a setting, half res input, zero. RTGI uses full resolutions, color and depth. We're gonna see, we're gonna set that to zero, it's already at zero. And we also got dither, curves, and DPX, all manually set. Also, just heads up, if you're, if Within the video, in-game settings, resolution, that really only changes the internal resolution. See, if you go to 640 by 480, your all D size never changes. See the main uh, actual resolution. Also, if you're using RTGI and you have your res uh, internal resolution lower, you can see some white anomaly on the outlines of the character. See that? Take out RTGI. See? So you might want to put it at the same resolution as your window screen. See, now it's gone. All right, we're going to go starting my main character. We're going to go to a random area. Okay, we're going to go to under Dagnar system on D+. Plus. system okay we're gonna do bunker busting alpha legion vanguard level 15 this is a desert area a perfect area to test the uh, the frame limiter. We have a tough nut to crack. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expurgation while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. Okay, with reshade, we got 17 FPS without, it's already at 59. So, shadows all the way up. We got 16 FPS. Let me show you quickly, one GPU.
we're gonna log out the game. Actually, we're not gonna abort mission because that would just uh, not bring back the mission back to get. So we're gonna exit forcefully. Exit afterburner, reload afterburner again so it doesn't get stuck. <clears throat> Back to four way. And we're going to decrease the resolution to 3.4 to 3.3K. 3.30.12 by 18.63. I'm going to go back on the game. Okay, we're on our four way now. fix this flashing anomaly during debriefing but I can fix the flashing anomaly here I'll show you guys how to do it when it reaches at the end right here make sure the uh, reshade is turned off so it won't slow you down control ALT delete here keep pushing the window screen task manager before you go back on the game, you want to reload afterburner so it doesn't get stuck. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expurgation while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. See? Okay, we're going to turn on reshade. So we should be able to maintain 59. Shadow is going to be... You probably want to leave the shadows on medium or low. See, there's some little frame pacing a little bit. For now, we'll shut it off, leave it on off. Not only that, in certain areas, it could uh, increase stabilization and pre pre uh, prevent from get the game being hanged. Okay. Without, uh, with reshade, without reshade, reshade, without.
have neutralized. At this rate, you'll be back on board in no time. Okay, with reshade, without reshade. With reshade, without. With. Without. Loading! Confirmed. Target offline. Completed. Great work down there. Is it heresy to think that these hostiles were a bit out of your league? All right, we're going to do another area. Then we're going to go without reshade. Uh, we're going to do remote island. 
Bunker Busting Plague Vanguard, level 14. And I'm not going to do the uh, map HUD uh, removal technique so you can see. Watch on the bottom right. See? You are expected to mark a bunker for an aerial strike. The target is reinforced by anti aircraft artillery. So you must take out the foot soldiers and guns first, then finish the bunker. All this taking it in stride single-handedly. Oh, the seemingly pointless intrigues of the Holy Ordo. So now you can see now there's a lot of stress here. You might want to reduce your shadows. It's already on low. Let's get, exit out the game real quick. Go for a lower resolution. And we're going to do for this area, we're going to go to 3K. All right, back on the game. Change my OSD size. Sorry about that, guys. nuts to crack. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expurgation while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. about that the game crashed Ooh. one more time Make sure before you get on the game, uh, reshade is turned off to prevent any kind of hangs or anything. There we go. You are expected to mark a bunker for an aerial strike. The target is reinforced by anti-aircraft artillery, so you must take out the foot soldiers and guns first, then finish the bunker. All this taking it in stride single-handedly. Oh, the seemingly pointless intrigues of the Holy Ordo. Okay, we're gonna turn on shadows. Okay. With reshade. Without. Reshade. Without. With reshade. Without. But I'm going to turn off the shadows completely to prevent any kind of hangs because it can help my hangs. So.
performance meter, one percent and point one percent loads. Actually, I think there's something wrong. One second. Um, I think I made a mistake on the monitoring. Okay, everything is correct, okay. So 1.1% 1 1 lows for it, but 1%. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, back on the game. It's all backwards, okay? of that one, Inquisitor, but there is more.
closed. At this rate, you'll be back on board in no time. targets on my Argus scans. Well done. Stand by for extraction. Unless you want to linger just a little longer. I'll uh, just let you guys know the room temperature is about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we're going to show you uh, certain examples of the path traits. Uh, RTG, uh, global illumination is working. Uh, we're gonna quit game. We're gonna show you the first campaign area. And for those of you who have never seen the intro, character. I uh, create. Show you the intro. I'm only going to do one without reshit area because I, I cannot afford this video of uh, this game to hang on me where I'm at right now so I'm just going to show you one without reshade. Inquisitor's log. Classified report for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. It has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Autumns. It is authentic but extremely old. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. There were many delays during the journey, but the coordinates I received from the Caligari conclave finally led me to this desolate system. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery. It got through the warp surges with considerable loss of data, and my astropath has been unable to decipher it. I will personally investigate the source of this mysterious signal. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. 
The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty halls. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. System has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. It's do you Okay. Inquisitorial log. You win. Attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery. Remember, I was the telling you all in the beginning that, that there, there was a hang in the beginning when I was tuning. It was right here. I don't yet know when why. I first started to tune the tune this game. The transport has been destroyed along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Okay. I want you all to pay attention to this area right here. Here on the side of the wall. Here. Okay, we're going to go to move this real quick. Global illumination off. See that? On. Even the floors, too, even the ground. Off. On. Off. On. A lot of it's depending on your global illumination settings. So, and this is one of uh, this particular environmental type area you have to have the frame limiter on otherwise you'll have track texture flashing issues see so you might want to limit to 60 but the downfall it shifts to 54. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks, but having a flesh drone just for operating the doors seems excessive. Okay, we're gonna quit. Now we're gonna do a reshade. Without reshade, excuse me. Okay, we're only gonna show you one area. Because I'm already this hard in the video, I cannot afford it. Afford the game to hang and start the video all over. Okay, we're going to do DSR first. We're going to go to the video control panel. And we're going to turn on DSR. Apply. Okay. Once that's applied, yep. Then use the custom DSR tool. I did it beforehand, so I, have to, I don't have to re-input all of this, so it saves you some time. So we're going to create DSR. I'm not going to use all of this, but I'm just trying to show you all example what I use for my tuning process. Because there's so many load variables and variations depending on the area and the situation. So we're going to create DSR. Okay, we're going to reload afterburner, exit, close, restart, and wish we were able to do 5k, no problem. There we go. We're going to revert back, and we're going to go to reshade. No reshade.
Okay. And resolution we're going to be doing. Uh, let's try. Let's try 4.7. Actually, four, four point seven. And we're gonna make sure we turn off reshade. The only thing we're gonna be using is uh, TAA. Just let you know when using DSR at very high resolution under gameplay. Oops, excuse me. Cursor size, you might want to turn it on all the way low because it could disappear. Some of it could be your DPI font within your window screen, so be careful while tuning. Once again, we're going to have shadows on low. Just uh, prevent some hanging issues. Oops. We're going to go back to the other character. Forgot to change my OSD size. One second. Uh, 25. Exit afterburner. back on the game no it's still a little too big Reduce it with one more notch. Should be all set. Sorry about all that. While you guys are tuning back here there's a major hang too from around this area so while you guys are tuning and you guys prevented that you're all you're, you're all doing a very good job it was very difficult to get rid of some of these hangs to get under control so usually here there is a hang so just be careful okay but so we're going to use only ta reshade Next area we're going to go to, we're going to do 
death world. I might show frozen wastelands later, but for now we're gonna do this. The enemy is here, preying on the weak and using craven tricks against the defenders of mankind. Perhaps we should find their leaders and give them a fair share of their own medicine. So as you can see, the res uh, there's still not a lot of stress in this area because we're not doing reshade. And plus, an environment like this, when you take off, no, uh, when you put the FPS to no limit, see now you have the flat texture flashing issue. In certain areas, I, I did the best I can. I cannot fix it. So we're going to leave it at 60. Actually, we're going to go to, is it, let's like exit, exit out this game again. Okay, we're going to, let's try, uh, let's try 5120 by 3200. It's pretty steep. Uh, yeah, sorry about all the icons are all misplaced. Okay. We're under 5K now. Okay, before you jump in this uh, any area that's very high resolution, you might want to crank it down very low so it doesn't hang while you're starting the game. Try to remove the map flashing problem. Control ALT delete. Window button. You're pushing the window button task manager. Uh, exit afterburner again. The enemy is here, preying on the weak and using craven tricks against the defenders of mankind. Perhaps we should find their leaders and give them a fair share of their own medicine. And map eight, uh, flashing, it's fixed. We're gonna change the resolution. One second. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now you wanna do sync CPU to GPU because it's gonna take a little while to settle down because our resolution. Before you, when you go back on the game, Push it to another resolution, refresh a little bit, wait this settles down, or this usage go uh, gets close by. There's a hang. Ooh, there's a fucking hang. Excuse me. Excuse my language. So you, now you see. Now you can't exit in this condition, you would have to sign out. So 
Sorry for all that hang again. I had to do another video. Um, I don't want to go for that hang again, so I'm going to continue on. We're back on. Okay, we're going to do 512, five, uh, 5K, 3200P. Sorry for all the font misplacement here. Okay, then we're going to go back on the game. We're going to reload. No sh uh, reshade bits. Okay. Thirty two hundred P is actually sixteen by ten aspect ratio. Twenty eight eighty is actually sixteen by nine, five K. So we're on thirty two hundred P right now. And lights out. Okay, back to where we was before. Uh, we're gonna lower the resolution here before I start. Flashing anomaly. The enemy is here, preying on the weak and using craven tricks against the defenders of mankind. Perhaps we should find their leaders and give them a fair share of their own medicine. Okay, as before, this, this area is flashing a little bit. I gotta see my. Well, one second. Okay. Now we're back on the game. Sync CPU to GPU. We're gonna crank it down a little bit. Wait till this settles down a little bit. Limit on be 59 54 PS usage a little low. So, in the area when certain situation gets hot, just this should still maintain a little bit. So, this is bronze. Radio on. reconnaissance forces located, potentially useful assets, but their current situation is terminal. So we're, on, action required. so we're on 3200p now. Reconnaissance forces located. Potentially useful assets, but their current situation is terminal. Immediate action required. Reconnaissance force relieved. Send basic. Follow and protect order to the survivor. the shadow off for the time being to prevent some hangs.
check my equipment. We're going to go in another area. coordinates of hostile artillery units to your tactical sensorium. Silence these guns before the Imperium's finest get pounded into oblivion. Alright, we're gonna crank down the resolution. We're gonna do it at Four point Target Inquisitor. The Argus scans show multiple heavy weapon platforms in close vicinity, keeping the Imperium forces under fire. Act quickly, or soon there will be no one left to thank your valiant effort before they get mind scrubbed anyway. Ah, 
I couldn't stop flashing. Sorry about that. Can't restart the mission anyway. Uh, what's the oh, it's OD should be coming up. There we go. All right. work of that one inquisitor but there is more At this rate, you'll be back on board in no time.
objective completed. Great work down there. Is it heresy to think that these hostiles were a bit out of your league? Okay, we're gonna go one more last area. Okay, we're gonna do frozen wasteland environment in the Atheon system, Tartarus uh, 4. This is a hunt mission. is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds. Hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down. Actually, in this area, I might want to reduce my weather settings and high effects to prevent uh, hanging taking into effect, but the shadows will be maxed. resolution as this is right now okay, hold on one second I'm mean, just going to increase it just a tad do 4.8 
I'm going to get rid of that uh, map HOD flashing anomaly on the bottom right. The very existence of this filth defiles the Imperium. They may be great in numbers, but if we sever the head, the body will die. Kill their leaders and break their will.
what a day. guys that's about it and here's my four weight Spacers here. Another exhaust fan here. That would be all for today. Thanks for all for watching.